Hi friends and subscribers, this is Mamushik and from past few videos I am working on developing a blog application using PHP and MySQL server. In my last video I completed the functionality of adding a post and I, I, I added two posts uh, inside uh, my database okay and uh, uh, while adding the post I had added a featured image also for that uh, post for each and every post okay and this is the link or the path of the image where i have uploaded my featured image for each and every post okay so if i go to my project directory here inside uh, my featured images here you can see these are the two featured images that i have uploaded for uh, for my two posts okay so now in this video i will discuss or i will uh, develop the functionality of displaying all the posts of uh, in on our dashboard okay so i'll be fetching all the posts from the database and i'll, I'll display those posts here on my dashboard okay so for that let's go to our dashboard okay so this is our dashboard and here below this uh, uh profile picture i will display all the posts so now let's go to dashboard and then view okay and then for that okay and then h1 style text align center all posts okay and in this view we will I will create a row and inside this I will create an another div with a class of column 2 okay to display our featured image and I want one more column of width 10 to display the text here okay and then okay so here in this uh, in this view i'll be displaying the image which is a featured image and in this view i'll be displaying the text or the description of the description category okay and uh, and uh, different links okay so now first we need to write the php code to get the uh, uh to write the script uh, for getting all the information from the post okay so for that i will okay, so just above this row i will uh, php tag okay so here in this script already i think it's yes, already i have included my db.php so though i don't have to include the db.php file once again here okay so i will just uh, I will not include once again okay so now let's type the query posts query post to select star from posts where okay so I want all the posts from the post table so I, I'm not going to uh, write any criteria or where conditions because I wa I don't want any specific post actually I want all the posts from the uh, table okay, and then posts result equals to mysqli query okay and here I need to pass the connection posts query okay or die error and then next i need to check if my table post uh, contains any records or not if my sqli underscore num rows greater than zero okay and to this i'll pass pass post result okay so here i'm checking if my table post 
contains any data then I will iterate to that result set while posts goes to my SQL underscore fetch asoc okay and to this I will pass this post result okay and then I will try to get the ID posts ID of each post okay and then title description and category title description category okay and also I want the featured image as well okay, I'll just copy and paste it here okay so now let's try to print okay so let's uh, quickly come here okay and then try to print display our image okay so let's before that let's try to print this entire information as an array okay copy okay okay next one is title description category and then featured image okay, here it will be id okay now let's try to print it copy exit print our data you okay, now save it okay now let's refresh okay now you can see it's displaying uh, the record it's displaying only first record which is a first post and the information of the first post is post is coordinator coordinator is in MVC framework which is the description and then category is technology okay so it's returning the details of first post from the table okay so now let's delete it okay now okay let's close it here and open php tag and let's take this row so let's take this row and put it here okay now image echo okay then we need to print this featured image here save it and then okay let's first see the images okay now i'm able to fetch only the images now we need to fetch i also need to fetch the title okay so let's click here okay h3 and then a okay and to this okay let's keep it as it is okay, and then php equal dollar title okay and then next we need the description okay then okay, let's first see okay so uh, it's uh, displaying this information on top of the images so we need to reduce the size of our images so for that let's first come here and uh, style oh, sorry style 
width will be 150 pixel and height 150 pixel okay so now let's refresh okay now it's displaying uh, perfectly fine and we also need to display the category okay let's copy this let's save it okay and then we need to display the links okay let's first see okay now i am able to display title the description and the category of that post okay so and we further we need to display a uh, few links like view update and delete links okay so we we have to show those links uh, below this uh, category okay, so for displaying that we need to create one more view with a class of a row okay and then we have to create uh, one more due with a class column lg1 okay and we need to create two more dues okay. okay one is for href view dot php view okay then next just copy here edit and then delete save it okay now let's refresh okay now you can see it's displaying three links uh, view edit and delete okay so we need to attach the link for these uh, uh, links uh, for ids to these links so for attaching the id of uh, each and every particular post to these links so that uh, whenever i place the mouse cursor on top of these links i should be uh, i should display the id of this particular post okay so now when i place the mouse cursor on top of any of these links on the left bottom side of this browser here which is in this portion in this uh, uh, section you will see 127.0.0.1 slash php block slash view.php okay but you are not able to see the id of this particular post okay so now we need to attach the id of this particular post to this link so for doing that we need to come here okay then question mark id equals to so dollar id okay so we are having id here uh, id of this post already we have fetched that uh, id of each and every post so i will just uh, link that id just copy it here okay i'll save it okay now yeah, you can see when i place the car, mouse cursor uh, on, on this link on the left bottom side of the browser window you will not see the id okay so now let's refresh okay now when i place the mouse cursor on top of any of these links then you can see on the left bottom side of the window uh, our browser window you will see 127.0 which is in this place 127.0.0.1 slash php block slash view.php question mark id equals to one and id equals to one for this as well and for this it's displaying id2 which is the uh, id of this second post okay so uh, in the in our next video we will be discussing how to view uh, the view each and every post in full detail uh, in some other page okay so whenever i click on this view button view link i will be redirected to some other page where i can see the description image and title of the of each and every per, each and every post in full detail okay so we will do that in our next video okay so for this video uh, uh, we have discuss how to display all the posts how to fetch all the posts from the database and display them on our dashboard okay so i hope you like this video i hope you got some useful information out of this video if you like this video subscribe to our channel 
click on like button share it with your friends and i will see you guys in my next video where i'll be discussing on uh, displaying a single post in full detail okay so uh, thanks for watching guys